Hello, my name is Ashley Jackson, and I have joined this amazing Mandela Day initiative started by Inmate South Africa in conjunction with Inmate Partnerships for Children. They have put together a beautifully illustrated ebook intended to help children understand everything that they need to know about the coronavirus. The book has been written by Inmate South Africa's Programs Director, Unati Sihlala, and illustrated by Theodore Key. The book's name is Let All the Kids Know About Coronavirus and COVID-19. It was just another Monday morning in the dusty streets of Soweto. Jimmy and his best friend Muzi and Sam had just arrived at their school in time for the morning assembly. All the other children had already started taking their seats in the school hall to listen to the regular weekly message from the school principal. Jimmy whispered, I wonder why do we have a nurse in the assembly this morning? I hope we won't be vaccinated today. Oh no, I really hope not. You know, I'm, I'm very scared of needles. I think I want to go back home, said Muzi. Just hang on. Let's hear what the principal will say, said Jimmy. Good morning, boys and girls, said the school principal, Mrs. Chawuke, with her husky voice. Today we have a special visitor from our local clinic to share a very important message with us. Please welcome Sister Malk. Other kids were now starting to worry as to what the nurse would say. Today I want to tell you about this new infectious disease called COVID-19, which is caused by a recently discovered coronavirus, said Sister Malk. Sadly, the disease makes a lot of people around the world sick, including young and old. Now worried, Jimmy raised his hand to ask a question. Yes, Jimmy, said Mrs. Chawuke. Sorry, ma'am. This virus, what does it look like? asked Jimmy, looking worried. Unfortunately, you can't see this virus with your naked eye. You'd need a microscope to see it, just like in this picture. It looks like a crown with spikes at the end, you see, said Sister Milk. Now, girls and boys, you need to understand that this disease affects everyone. It doesn't matter whether you stay in the township or in the suburbs or even in a rural area. Most people who have this disease may think they have flu. So can anyone tell me what flu symptoms you know, asked Sister Milk. I often get a runny nose and sore throat when I have flu, said Muzi. I get a fever and struggle to breathe when I have flu, said Jimmy. I usually start coughing when I have flu, added Sam. You're all correct, said Sister Milk. These are the most common flu symptoms. So if you have a fever, cough and have difficulty breathing, please talk to your parents about it. And if it gets worse, ask them to take you to the nearest clinic. Older people are more likely to have serious illness from COVID-19. So please share this information with your parents. Sister Milk also explained to the children how this virus is spread. This virus spreads through small droplets from the mouth or nose when someone with COVID-19 coughs or exhales. These droplets land in the mouths or noses of people who are within a few meters possibly being inhaled into their lungs. These droplets can also land on nearby objects and surfaces. That is why it is important to not touch your face, eyes or mouth and wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Sister Milk added that it is important to keep a distance from a person who is sick. The children were now listening attentively, but also starting to worry. Muzi raised his hand to ask a question. I'm so scared of this virus. What can we do to protect ourselves, he asked. You don't have to worry much. We are all doing all we can to prevent the spread of this disease, said Sister Milk, adding that we can all help by practicing the following things. Wash our hands regularly and thoroughly with clean water and soap and avoid touching our face, hands and mouth. Cover our mouth and nose with a bent elbow when we cough or sneeze and avoid shaking hands with or touching others. Keep at least a two metre distance between ourselves and others. Stay at home. From time to time, our president will make announcements regarding this virus. At times, he will ask us to stay at home and it's important that we do. 
Thank you so much for listening to me. And please make sure that you also talk to your parents if something worries you about this virus, said Sister Milk. Mrs. Chawuke took to the podium to thank Sister Milk and announced that schools would be closing for a while to minimize the risk of spreading the virus. As the kids were leaving the hall, Jimmy said to his friends, I don't want to catch this virus. I'll make sure that I do all the things that the nurse told us today. Me too, said both Muzi and Sam. Let's ask Juju, our break time buddy, to give us ideas on some fun activities to do at home, added Sam. Yeah, let's go now, said Jimmy, excited at the idea. The end. Ask yourself the following questions. Do you have a cough? Do you have a cold? Do you have diarrhea? Do you have a sore throat? Do you have body aches? Do you have a headache? Do you have a fever? Do you have difficulty breathing? Do you experience fatigue? If you have many of the symptoms on the list, do not panic. Ask your parents to seek medical help and isolate yourself in a safe place in your home so you do not infect others. Hello boys and girls. During this time, a lot of people are spreading false information about the virus. Here are some of the statements about COVID-19 that are false. Eating garlic can help prevent infection with the coronavirus. Taking a hot bath prevents the coronavirus. There is a vaccine or cure for the coronavirus. Government will send helicopters to spray our communities to kill the virus. Parents should dispose of any money as it is infected with the coronavirus. It is important to stay away from fake news during this time. So here are some helpful resources for you. This book was developed by Inmate Partnerships for Children to provide safety information to protect children and families during the COVID-19 pandemic. The content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. If you would like to download a copy of the book or would like to access any InMed resources, please visit inmed.org.za.